What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of a Gigantosaurus. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a large oval on the top left side of our page. Now I move to a side grip. Let's use the flat edge of our pencil, starting from the very top. It's gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the oval, towards the center, and go all the way around the right side. Let's add a couple guidelines inside that oval. Starting from the very top of the middle, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll add another guideline going across from left to right. So starting in the center of the oval, going out toward the left, and then the right side. Now from here, we're gonna loosely block in the mouth. Let's start from the left side, draw a straight angle line going up and in towards the top of the mouth and draw a straight line going out towards the right side. Let's go back over towards the left, draw a straight angle line coming down and across, just past that center line towards the right side. And then from the bottom, draw a straight line going up. Now from here, we draw the side of the neck coming down towards the bottom of the body. From the left side of our oval, let's step up, just curve this around, going out, bring that down, and then come down with a straight angle line towards the bottom of the body to right about there. Let's follow this line going all the way towards the back. I'm just gonna round this out, come down and then in towards the bottom of the body. Let's draw a small circle along the bottom of the body for the knee, just going all the way around. And then from the center of that circle, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the foot. And then we'll flatten off the bottom with a straight line. Let's go halfway down the length of the leg, starting right here, angle this down and out towards the left and right side. Let's round out the side of the leg, starting from the left side of that circle, going out and in towards the ankle. I'm going to move over and draw on the left leg. Starting down here, start with a straight line coming down towards the same height. Angle the leg coming down and out towards the bottom. Let's flatten off the bottom of the foot with a straight line. And we'll angle this back up and in towards the leg. Let's round up the outside of the leg. Starting up here, come down and then just bend that in. And then from the bottom, angles down and out on top of the foot. Now from here, we're gonna block out the arms. Let's start with the one on the left. Start from the side of the body, come down and out with a straight line, add a circle around the elbow. From the center of the elbow, draw a straight line going out. Now from here, we draw a triangle for the hand. Come down on both sides, and we'll flatten off the bottom. Let's line up the top of the arm over on the right, angle the arm coming down and out towards the elbow, and then we'll add another circle. From the center of the elbow, angle the arm coming across, and then again, we're gonna draw that same triangle coming down. Now from here, we're gonna extend the tail going out towards the right. Let's start from the bottom of the body, just curve this out, and then bend that up towards the tip. From the end of the tail, I'm just going to taper this so it gets wider as it comes back in towards the body. Now that we've established the basic shape of our drawing, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have a clean drawing, we're going to go back and add a second level of detail. Let's start with the inside edge of the right leg. Starting from the inside of the knee, go up and bend that out round at the side, and just pull that up towards the top of the body. Let's move over and add some thickness to the left arm. Starting from the top, come around, and then in towards the elbow. Then from the inside, curve this in, and then up. And it'll thicken up the right arm. Starting from the bottom, curve this out and up underneath the head. Go 
up and in on the right side. Let's go back to the top of the elbow, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Then from the bottom, come down and then back out. Let's go back to this point on the top of the mouth, curve this up and then across towards the right. Let's move over towards the left side and sketch a small circle for the eye. From that same point, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom edge of the mouth. And then we'll add some shape to the inside of the mouth. Let's start from the end, angle down and in, come down and out towards the bottom, and we'll flatten this off. Now once we're happy with the rough shape of our drawing, let's go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the top of the eye. Start from the very top left, and curve this in, and then down across the brow, and up the outside of the eye. Just pull that up towards the inside. I'm just going to add a fold on the inside of the brow, going up, go across the top of the head, and then back down along the side. I'm just going to add some bumps along the top of the head, going across towards the right. And then going back to the left, we'll add some bumps and folds, coming down towards the neck. And just bend that out. I'm bringing this down towards the edge of the mouth. Just round this out and pull that in. I'm just going to add some more shape to the inside edge of the mouth. Going up towards the top. Add a bend along the bottom. Coming up towards the middle. And then just add some folds. Adding in a jawline. Now I'm just going to layer the teeth along the top. Coming down towards the point, and then just work our way across towards the right. Do the same thing across the bottom. Starting from the left, just add a few smaller ones along the bottom, and a larger one along the front. Add the tongue along the inside down towards the bottom, and go across and then back out. Go back up and add in the nostril, and we'll just darken up the inside. Now that we've blocked out the head, we're going to move our way around the body. Come down towards the arm, and fold, and continue along the bottom. I'm just going to separate the fingers, so adding two along the bottom, and we'll tuck the thumb underneath, and we'll add those claws on the end. Now we move over and add some detail to the right arm.
Now you want to add some folds across the back. So starting from the head, we're just going to bend these out and then down. And curve the back going around. Adjusting the shape as we go, coming along the inside of the leg. And adding some folds along the inside. Now before we get into the foot, we'll just finish off the tail. And a couple folds going out towards the end, and then we'll bring that back in. Now on the base of the foot, we're going to sketch four circles going across for the end of the toes. And we'll tuck the claws along the inside, starting with a half circle and just pull that down towards the point. And as we go out toward the left, we're just gonna bend these claws going out. And we'll go back and just trace out those circles. Going around the claws. Once we've finished tracing out the contour of our drawing, we move to the side edge of our pencil and just shade in the entire body. So we'll start with the head, and this will help reduce some of those guidelines inside. Also shading in the inside of the mouth and the teeth. Now to give our drawing some shape and form, we're going to start adding some various tones inside. So it's going to darken up the inside of the mouth, going around the teeth, we're starting off dark along the top, and then we'll blend that down towards the mouth.
darken up the left side of the tongue, and then just blend that across. a shadow to the inside of the arm and we'll just blend that out towards the left. And we'll also shade on the top and then bring that down. Add a slight shadow along the inside of the arm to create a highlight along the center of the arm. The head's going to cast a shadow across the body. I'm just going to darken up that edge and then just blend that down. We'll also add a shadow along the inside of the arm. adding a little bit of texture to that lower jaw. And just work our way towards the top of the head. Just adding that shadow across the bottom of the body, and we'll just blend that up towards the top.
Now to finish off a rough shading pass, just darken up the bottom of the tail, just repeating that process, just fading that up towards the top. And going back in and adding a little bit of texture along the inside. Now we're going to go through a final pass of adding some detail with the tip of our pencil. We're also going to increase the contrast. And we're just layering some thick stripes across the body. This is in the side edge of our pencil. Just working with the curve of the body and the legs. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll add a little bit more detail and a drop shadow along the bottom. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a Gigantosaurus. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.